Yo, what is going on, car people of this world? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video here in New Jersey. Um, <laughs> this video's got to be one of the worst I've ever made. Like, not maybe not in quality. I don't know how my quality is. You guys tell me that. But um, just for the circumstances, it it kind of it, it stinks. It really does. Um, so I'm sure you guys know of my 2007 Lexus. LS 460 um, recently I well not recently but I got the wheels painted a little while ago when they were painted the shop cut off all of the wheel weights and that the wheel weights they balance out the wheels so then you don't have any wheel wobble so I started getting wheel wobble and I thought that that was you know the only problem I got some weights I went to the shop they installed them for me but I still had the wheel wobble so I'm sure that some of you have already guessed um, I took it back to the shop and my wheel bearing was bad on the front left of the car on the driver's side so that's at the shop right now um it just stinks man it really stinks because it's a lexus and you know these these cars they they require parts that just aren't bought from AutoZone or wherever you know like they're so so expensive and that's all part of owning the car you know um so I gotta get a new wheel bearing. So I'll go over some more details in a minute, but first I have to show you guys my grandmother's brand new Lexus RC350. Check this thing out, guys. I mean, this is literally so sick. She just picked it up and nobody believes me when I tell everybody that this is my grandmother's car. It was, oh, she got a little bit of curb rash right there. That is not too cool. But what was pretty sick is because I didn't have my car today, she let me take this to school and it was an absolute blast. So I'm gonna be washing this car for her really quick just for just a little thank you for letting her uh, let me use this car. Um, so yeah, we're gonna wash it real quick. You guys can hear the startup. It's not too loud, but it sounds pretty good. Um, and then we'll talk about wheel bearings. This is like really a trash day. I'm sorry, my neighbors, the power washing over there. But I just got finished washing my grandmother's car and I just got a call from the shop that's doing my wheel bearing and they told me that my control arms are now bad as well. Now I know that a lot of you guys might be like, yo, they're trying to scam you. You know, they're trying to rip you off. They're saying your control arms are bad for more money. I don't think that's the case. We've been going to these guys for decades. They've always been honest. We've never had a problem with them. Um, but just in case, I'm going to go tomorrow morning to check out these strut bars. Um, so what I think it, what happened is all the wheel wobble that I had messed up the bearing inside of the strut bar. Um, and the strut bar is connected to the shock tower. So if you have any sort of wheel wobble, the shock tower is obviously going to feel it, which means the um, strut bar is also going to feel it. So I think that's the problem. So that's going to be another lot of money. Um, but we're going to go check it out tomorrow and see, see, what's, see what's going down. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow morning. back she is back and better than ever or at least better than what we had her at well at the last day of what this car was in as you guys know the bearings were shot and the control arms were totally shot on this car we just got them fixed and well when i say just it was actually like four to five weeks ago i've been kind of holding off on making this video i don't, I don't really know why but anyway we're gonna park up somewhere and i'm gonna tell you guys everything that went down i'm gonna tell you what it costs to get fixed and um yeah i'm just gonna explain what went wrong all right so here she is all back home and safe i asked the mechanics to have the old control arms which went bad to show you guys pretty much what went wrong so here is one of the control arms right here. So pretty much what happened is this is a bearing right in here. And how this goes is the shock goes through this hole right here. And this bearing is connected like uh, to the frame or something like that, which keeps it strong and steady. And you can see right here, all of this rubber, it went loose and it is completely destroyed right there. As you can see, it's all fallen out and this is sliding 
all over the place. So that's why it was bad and that's why they needed to be replaced. That is insane on both of them. All right, so now that I showed you guys at least one of the problems that we had, let's run through this receipt right here and see what the total cost added up to be. So right here, let's just read their note. Customer requires balance all tires. So I originally thought the problem was that I only needed to get them balanced because the guys who did the work on my wheels just took the wheel weights off. So I thought that, you know, getting them balanced would be it, but I was so wrong. Then it says here, when in the shop, they found the left wheel hub bearing extremely noisy and unsafe. So I had to get that removed. That was the first problem. Removed left front wheel and, and replaced the wheel bearing. Uh, bad left front wheel hub, ASMB. Somebody let me know what that stands for. I'm not too sure. Reassembled the wheel, ASMB on vehicle. They replaced the right wheel hub. When they were on the left wheel hub, they found out that the control arm was totally messed up and that's when they replaced the left control arm and the right control arm which i showed you guys over there so now let's run through this receipt right here we've got labor 812 dollars we have the wheel bearing and the control arms both added up to 1400 dollars. that's not even including installing them <sighs> <laughs> we had the job supervisor, which was $29, sales tax, which was $150, which gave us a total of $2,407.36. That wasn't fun to pay. I'll tell you that, that was not fun to pay, but I'll tell you what, man, I love, I love that car so much, I really do. I think the biggest thing we have to learn here is like whenever you get any work done from any shop, it doesn't hurt to check over what they did if you're like knowledgeable in any area. I knew exactly what wheelways did. I knew that, I mean, I didn't think of it at the time, but they did have to take them off to paint the wheels. And I didn't, I didn't think of that at the time, which I feel so stupid of, about now. It doesn't hurt to check. It doesn't hurt to check and it doesn't, definitely does not hurt to go back and say, hey, where are my wheel weights in my case? Because when you get a bill like this, then you'll be like, dang, I wish I just would've talked to him. So moral of the story, you know, we'll take it as that. Hopefully I can save some of you guys from making my same mistake. But yeah, so that's what it costs, $2,400 to get your bearings and um, control arms replaced on a 2007 Lexus LS 460. And that was only one bearing as well. So I don't know if y'all need two or not, but anyway. So after my big rant, here she is all fixed. She got the front too, like I, I'm not gonna run even over it again. It's all fixed up. And what I have noticed is that the ride height is actually sitting a lot higher than when I, uh, when I was broken. So um, I think that I was literally so broken that it literally made my car lower. So we have to do something about this and don't even worry because I already have, it's gonna get lower, it's gonna get lower. Don't worry about it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it did. Well, at least for me, it kind of sucked, but um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.